Hello, this is Lance Cleveland. I'm going to show you how to do some automated uh, web testing and automated web drivers using Selenium and WebDriver IO. I am going to do this using Node and the Node Package Manager. It makes it a lot easier to get things set up and running. I've already got my directory set up here, completely empty directory. And the first thing I want to do is make sure I've got Node installed and the Node Package Manager installed which I do, and it's globally accessible. So if you've not set up Node or NPM, uh, go ahead and uh, jump on those pages, Node.js, and uh, look up Node.js and NPM and get those installed and running, and then come back here. Now, I've already got those running, so I'm gonna install WebDriver.io as the first step. So let me go ahead and do that, and we'll come back as soon as this command is done. Okay, so that install's done. It's gone and downloaded all the packages it needs to support WebDriver.io, and I'm now ready to run the starting configuration for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through that process, and I'll show you the results when that process is done as well. Okay, so it's installed the packages that I need. It's in the node modules subdirectory here. And what I want to do is I want to run the test runner configuration. That's going to help us manage our tests and load up configuration files. And that's in the node modules, the bin hidden directory. So make sure you add this um, dot bin here. The dot is important. And WDIO is the test runner. And I want to configure it. So I'm going to run through the configuration and I'll show you uh, the answers and the results when that's done. Okay, so it's uh, running the install now of several packages. You can see that went pretty quickly. And what I did is I told that I want to run the test locally. That means it's going to fire up, it's going to run the tests in Node locally and then fire up the browser uh, locally. I told that I want to use the Mocha framework. We'll get into that later. It's a good one um, to use and it's well documented on the WebDriver IO site as well as other places. I told it to install that for me. So that installs the Node modules I need. My tests are going to go in a subdirectory test specs that I'll create in a moment, and we'll put some JavaScript files in there. Uh, it also is going to run the spec reporter. I think that's a, a more detailed report rather than dot reporter, which is the default. So I use the spec reporter. I told it to install it. You also need Selenium standalone. That's the layer that's going to run on the uh, local computer here. It's going to run on my laptop, and it's going to talk to the Chrome um, driver that's installed. Uh, on some systems, you may not have the extra drivers installed. There are NPM libraries to do Chrome drivers and Firefox drivers. I found I don't have to install that on most systems anymore. Most of the remote automation is now built into Chrome and Safari and Firefox. So if you're using a modern browser, you probably just need uh, to run the standalone service and install it, of course. Tell it logging's set to error level. I want to see errors during development process. Uh, screenshots, if something fails, are going to go here. And then the uh, site I'm going to test is my test store locator plus site. So let's um, go ahead and create some directories and um, do some tests. So let me jump into PHP Storm for that. So I'm in PHP Storm. I'm creating a project from existing directory. So this is going to be my IDE. Helps with autocomplete and looking at files and directory structures. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and use my A test directory here. And let me bring this down into the window so we can see it. So it's my directory here. You can see the node modules are here. That's my configuration file. And what I want to do is I want to create those couple of um, test directories. And if I look at this WDIO config file, I can see I need um, test specs uh, underneath this parent directory. So I'm going to do a new directory for test. And within that, another subdirectory called specs, just following the default convention here. So I've got test specs there. And then the other one I want to create is the um, uh, error shots directory, which is uh, also listed in this file. Sorry for the quick scrolling here. It's right here, error shots. So I want to do a new directory called error shots. Make sure you have the proper camel case there. And uh, one other thing I want to do is I find these tests uh, tend to run faster and better with Chrome, uh, maybe because Node uses V8 um, JavaScript engine. Um, I just find I have better success. I've also had some weird results with Safari where um, key inputs aren't necessarily working. So I'm just going to set that to run one uh, browser window of Chrome when I create my tests. So that's um, the only changes to the configuration file. And now I'm ready to write my first tests.
Okay, so within the specs directory, I created a JavaScript file called wp-login.js. Eventually, we'll use this to log into the WordPress site as a test. And the very first command I'm going to do is just open the site, browser.url, and then the slash tells it to open the primary page on the site. And the URL it's going to use is it's going to um, append that to the um, site that I put in here, the base URL, and that will um, log into that site and in this case it's going to open up a Chrome browser window that's the other configuration setting that we played with a minute ago and it's going to open the site in a new window so here's my um, Chrome window up here that's the one I'm just surfing the net with at the moment it's going to actually open a new um, remote automated window so in PHP storm I just open a command line terminal here just to keep it all in one spot and you can see I've already run this test before I'm going to run um, from the parent directory so if you look I'm in the parent directory where I've created everything I'm gonna call node modules uh, dot bin WDIO and name the config file I'm gonna run and it's actually gonna look for every single um, JavaScript file that's in this directory and run them uh, as it finds them in this case there's only one so it's gonna run one test and open the home page for the test site and a new Chrome window and you can see it's opening it. You can tell it's uh, remote controlled and it closes it, of course, very quickly. But that's our first successful test running WebDriver IO. So we're all set up and ready to do more extensive stuff. That will be in future articles uh, and also posted on the lance.bio site. So I've got uh, that stuff coming up. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, you got a little extra information out of it, you can always uh, send some crypto over to um, my Bitcoin address. So here's that Bitcoin address. You can scan that with your um, Bitcoin wallet and send your donations to that address. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.